What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. address the situation I am sitting on my floor in my living room right now and we still don't have a couch so this poof this target poof if you saw one of my old vlog videos got the target poof if you know you know it's like our couch right now this seat is our couch right now and so it's like you know what? I'm gonna mix it up I don't want to do another video in my bedroom today I'm gonna just plop myself down on my living room floor and you know, make use of the space. The couch was ordered in October and we're supposed to get here like mid-December and now it's not coming until like the end of January. So hopefully that couch is like the most comfortable thing in the entire world at this point because I just need it to be worth it so my husband doesn't kill me for <laughs> being responsible for this delay. Anyways, how cute is my sweater? <laughs> Humble? No, I actually was out with my mom last night and she was wearing this sweater. And I was just like, oh my God, mom, I love that sweater. That is like so me hinting to her that I wanted it. And we were leaving, we were actually out blind shopping. I need blinds and we we're leaving, we're in the parking lot. And all of a sudden she's like, Courtney, out her window. She's just taking the sweater off and she's hanging it out the window. She's like, here. So I don't know, just like moment of appreciation for moms out there. Like what would we do without moms? My mom is literally, the best, most incredible, crazy woman on the whole planet, and I'm so grateful for her. So, shout out to my mom and shout out to this sweater. Super cute. It's from some local boutique, so I can't even like link it below or whatever. Okay, done with this long intro. Let us get into the reason you clicked on this video. I came up with the idea to do this video a while ago, and that's kind of how a lot of my videos come to be. I think of them, I don't know, a few weeks in advance, then I just start to think about how I want to um, create the video or what I'm gonna include. And so for this video, and I really just want wanted to show different things that I've found in my personal life to help me like hack parts of life, like make certain day-to-day -day things easier or just fun little quirky things that I think are awesome that I wanted to show you. I don't know, um, but I wanted to just address this because I think that we all come across like life hack videos on TikTok or you know you can Google like best life hacks and there's like so many things that can come up. But I just thought it would be fun. Like these are things that I actually do in my day-to-day -day life that I wanted to just share on this platform. Another long-winded intro, that's just the way I roll. Um, but yeah, let's get into some fun life hacks. First up is when you make coffee, put some of the coffee in ice cube trays. And so I, obviously this only works if you make like cold brew or cold coffee at home. Um, but I think sometimes when you like make your own cold brew at home and then you put ice cubes in it, it just waters it down. And so if you make your own cold brew, like just when the cold brew is done, pour, get an ice cube tray and have it reserved just for your coffee and pour cold brew into it so that whenever you make your coffee, you use those ice cubes, keeps it super cold and doesn't water it down. So uh, maybe you already know about that hack, but I love doing that with our cold brew at home. Um, and it's just a little thing that we do in our day to day that just makes our coffee experience a little bit better. Another hack is putting is putting coconut oil on areas of your skin that are prone to get wrinkled. I started doing this because I noticed the skin, I've talked about this in other videos, but I've noticed the skin above my eyes was just getting like wrinkled more so than I had ever noticed before. And I wanted to just look up natural ways to prevent further wrinkling and all that. And I have a whole skincare routine that I love, but I had never incorporated coconut oil into that routine and online. It just said, if you just start putting this oil, like lathering it up on areas like that, my neck, I do it because I want my neck to stay <laughs> as smooth as possible for as long as possible. And so I just put coconut oil on those areas and I have honestly noticed a difference. Obviously this is a long-term solution, but even above my eyes, like I feel like it just smoothed out some of those problem areas. So another hack, incorporate coconut oil into your skin routine. Obviously, if you have super sensitive skin, which I do, um, and I like fractionated coconut oil, just be careful if you have really sensitive skin and find really organic kinds that won't irritate you and try it out. So another hack kind of similar in the sense that it's oil, but really not similar at all. Um, 
if you are working out and you have to wear a mask in your area or whatever for that or just in general wearing a mask this is a great hack that just helps your breathing because i struggle when i like take a spin class with my mask on just like to breathe so one of the spin instructors told me to put essential oil like peppermint essential oil on like my chin um, and it essentially just like makes you feel like you're able to breathe so much easier. And this actually is nice, like if you just have a full day where you know you have to wear a mask for whatever you're doing, like if it's your job or you just have to wear a mask all day long, um, try this out, it really helps. It makes you feel like your sinuses are clear, you just aren't as like trapped in a mask. Um, which might sound dramatic, but I know just when I'm working out I feel like that and it has helped me. So, just another tip. So no particular order of the, these things and they're really just all over the board. In the summertime, you're going to the beach, you pick up like a six pack and it's warm, you get ice, but you wanna like sit right down and have your drink. I'm a snob, I need my drink to be super cold always. So if you have a little bit of salt and you throw it in the cooler on the ice, it just cools your drink in literally five minutes. So random hack, when you're going to the beach in the summer, have your little I don't know, travel salt and throw it in there and it makes it super cold. Another hack is if you are buying something new or you are looking to see reviews on an item, like whatever it is, I know that even with like clothing, with furniture, with home decor, appliances, vacuums, like I'm just going through a list of things that I have been in the market for, right? And pretty much when you buy online, you can always look up reviews, you can look up photos. But what I've started doing within the last year is looking up YouTube videos on certain items because I really think there's no better way to really see something than in a video. Because photos, you really can't fully get the full picture of something in a photo, whatever it is. And so the hack is just to YouTube it and just see if there's like a video so you can really see it. I mean, for example, the couch that we were waiting on, uh, I was from West Elm and I had looked up YouTube reviews of this couch and I saw like people getting it delivered to their home, sitting on it, feeling it. Like I just think that's so much better than just seeing pictures or seeing reviews. Like you can actually judge it for yourself in motion. So just a hack, like anything you purchase, clothing, something for your home, like just look it up on YouTube and see if other people have done review videos of it. Um, and most times they have. Next is putting cinnamon in your coffee. And so I don't know about you, but for me, when I drink coffee a lot of the times, especially if I haven't eaten anything, my like blood sugar levels rise and I can get a spike, I can get really shaky and then I crash. And so cinnamon literally is meant to cut your blood sugar levels. So if you put cinnamon in your coffee and you just mix it up, it cuts that effect out, um, especially hot coffee, but it, it works for me with both. Just a hack, like if you don't want that spike and that crash and you like cinnamon, throw it in your coffee. It honestly makes it taste so much better anyway and it totally helps with that crazy roller coaster that we can go on in the mornings with our coffee or afternoons. Next is related to coffee. Um, this actually my girlfriend Tay told me about this. I'm pretty sure it was Tay. You can let me know Taylor. It's kind of sad but if you want to save some money like basically when you buy an iced latte at Starbucks all they're doing is giving you espresso over ice with milk. They don't froth their milk when it is iced. I am told. So to hack this you can save literally like five dollars if you just order like two shots or three shots of espresso over ice and then you just go to the counter and you pour your own milk in so if you just like a regular latte and you don't want to spend crazy money because honestly all you're paying for is frothed milk and they don't even froth the milk just a hack if you're trying to save a little bit that's a fun way to do it because you still get your latte basically it's just a little bit cheaper Next is to wear blue light glasses and I've talked about this in so many of my other videos I feel like I am always incorporating blue light glasses because I think they are such a game changer for life in general um, If you haven't seen my other videos blue light glasses essentially just block the um, 
you know, harm that your screens can cause to you, whether it's your phone, your computer, your TV, blue light glasses just protect your eyes. And so the hack really for this video though is to not get like the Felix Grays or the whatever other companies that are charging like 50, 60, $100 for these glasses. I have two blue light glasses that I've had for years, one of them for years, the other one like a year now, um, that I got from Amazon for $10. I will link it below if you'd like. Um, and I just think, look up on Amazon, blue light glasses, look up reviews, of course, and make sure they're actually good quality. And I've noticed less headaches from wearing them. Um, so wear blue light glasses is one hack, but the big hack is do not spend the crazy money that these companies are marketing to you. Like if you have money and you want to do that, go for it. But 10 to 15 bucks for these glasses is just fine. Courtney's coffee break always. Up now is actually something I will show you because this came up on TikTok for me. And again, like I'm being honest, some of these you may be able to find elsewhere or you've heard of elsewhere, whatever, but I actually use all of these hacks in my daily life. So I just wanted to put a little video of my personal hacks. But this one is a scalp massager, but it's for when you shower and like to really clean your head. Jonathan and I love these. So basically you can see, it looks really scary, but they're very soft. You just put your shampoo in, lather it, and then you literally take this and you just go all over your head. Like, oh my God, I feel like, like when Jonathan first used it, he's like, wow, I feel like I've never actually washed my head before using this. And I agree, like it really just deep cleans your head. It feels like when you go to the salon and like the <laughs> um person doing your hair is like really cleaning your head like it feels like that so um yeah just a hack you can get these on amazon they're just called like scalp massagers and you'll see a few different ones that come up this is like the amazon choice one so um jonathan has one in blue and we really like them so next i'm actually going to just tell you about it and then i'm going to film a video of me actually doing this hack but i think that same friend my girlfriend taylor sent me this too and she was like oh my gosh i feel like you would definitely do this and i was like yes it's a sweater hack basically you have long a long sweater and you flip it upside down and you put your arms in like the opposite sides and again i'm going to show a video maybe there'll be a video montage going on right now of me explaining this but it's essentially you flip the sweater upside down and you put your arms through and it makes it into a cropped cute cardigan like the same sweater instead of wearing it like long it's now cropped in a little bit uh, more full. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to show you but I can do it with like every one of my cardigans and so Just a fun little hack to if you have a sweater that you love you wear it all the time And you want to just diversify how it looks like try this out next is more of a an idea or like something that you can do to make your life a little bit better and add more efficiency to your day-to-day -day routines I don't know how to explain it, but for me, this hack is really, let's see, how do I explain this? So when we moved into this home, right? I had the chance to really think about, okay, what do I do every day? Where do I keep like my makeup, my day-to-day -day items that I use? And does it make sense for me to keep like storing things in the same place that I have for so long? Does it make sense for me to have this same routine that I've had for so long? And so I was able to completely reevaluate what I was doing and I realized I was doing so many things that didn't make any sense just because I was super comfortable doing them for so long. And so my hack is just like one day a month, this is what I'm trying to do now going forward, is like take one day a month and just rethink all the things that I do in my day-to-day -day routine and see if I'm doing them to like the most efficiency or like does it make sense why I'm doing this in this way. I just feel like it's so important for us to yes find our own routines but like reevaluate them because a lot of times we don't we get too comfortable and we're like inconveniencing ourselves constantly and so i don't know it's like a life hack maybe take one day a month or once every three months whatever it is and just like rethink your day to day and reorganize your crap and like i don't know just like i think it can make your life a little bit more rich and it can just honestly shake things up sometimes it's nice to just like not get too comfortable and rethink your day-to-day -day stuff so i don't know just another hack from courtney for you today <laughs> all right so showing you another little something that i have this little guy um and so this is a like trigger point massage ball and so i started using this and i was training for the marathon i was running constantly and my feet just felt like there was like a just a rock solid ball in the middle of them like 
just felt so tight in the middle of my feet. And so I discovered this, my training coach actually was like, you need to get this and literally just like put it on the ground and put all of your body weight, like this is my foot, not my hand right now, okay, for the demo. You just put all of your weight into it and you just roll it out and you just roll out the cramp. And so I think a lot of people, like I know my mom works on her feet all day, I'm sure her feet really hurt some days and it's just a way to break up the muscle mass and the buildup that happens in your feet or other areas you can get these types of balls for so many different areas of your body that are tight um, but your feet especially even if you don't feel like you have a bad issue with your feet like just get this and see how much better you feel after you use it so just a hack these things are so cheap again on amazon you can get them in local like sports stores dix has them um and just like notice a difference by like putting pressure on this ball on your feet. It hurts so bad. Like I had Jonathan do it one day and he also felt, he didn't have any pain in his feet, but he was like, oh my God, that hurts so bad. I'm like, it hurts because you're getting out all the bad stuff going on <laughs> in your feet. Um, so I don't know, just a life hack. Like we're on our feet all day, every day. We deserve to treat our feet kindly. Even if you don't think you're doing them any harm, you probably are already. So yeah, get this little like trigger point massage ball. It's been a game changer for me. Next, I think most people probably already know about this, but it is a hack that I have incorporated every time I've moved in my life. So I wanted to definitely share it and it's to pack your clothes while they're still on the hangers. Keeps all your clothes organized, how you like them to be in your closet. And it's just so much easier than taking them all off folding them and then repacking, unpacking, whatever. You literally just keep all of your clothes on hangers and then wrap a trash bag over them and then you zip tie the hangers together and you can just move them. You can get big trash bags so it's like all of your clothes in one, whatever works for you, but definitely a hack that works is to move and pack with all of your clothes still on the hanger. Similarly, not really at all, but to do with clothes, I guess, is if you don't have a steamer, which if you've seen a few of my other videos, I always recommend having a steamer in your home. But if you don't, you can hang your clothes in the shower with you and the steam will press out a good amount of the fabric. I'm not in the shower with you, in the bathroom with you, away from the shower so it doesn't get wet. Um, if it's super thick, maybe not. But if you just have like a an event and you have a little bit of a crinkle in your clothes, um, and it'll steam out, it's like a natural, super organic steam. So basically this next hack is if you say you're going to the gym and you like have your water in a cup like this um, and you don't want to like fill it up with ice and have there be like limited water in there or you don't want the ice clanking around, literally fill up a cup like this a quarter of the way, like not even, just a little bit with water, put the lid on and keep it in the freezer sideways so that it's literally just ice on the whole side of the water bottle and every time you sip it the ice isn't clanking around um every single sip is super cold and it's just really efficient because you didn't you have so much water still in there like it's not just filled with ice and then you have like three sips and the water's gone so super fun hack jonathan actually has been doing this with his whiskey glasses he'll freeze his whiskey glasses with like a little bit of water in it tilted to the side um so that when he takes it out and he pours whiskey into it it's like every sip is perfectly like going against that ice on the side of the glass and it's super cold so i don't know just like a fun party trick too if you have people over and you want like i don't know every one of their sips to be super cold like it's just i don't know something fun that we've started doing in our day to day almost done but next up is to use a magic eraser one just like for everything in your entire life like if you've never heard of a mr clean i pulled out these are my favorite kind mr clean magic erasers one if you've never used them like run to the store right now finish the video and then run to the store and buy them because the hack that i was originally doing is like if you get side swiped in your car or if you have like scratches on your car like this you put a little bit of water on these sponges. This is my favorite kind um, of Mr. Clean. Put a little bit of water and you just buff it out and it completely removes the scratches for your car. I've had to do that a few times. Um, but anything in your house, anything that gets damaged, like before you throw it out, before you think it's too far gone, like put water on a Mr. Clean magic eraser. I don't know what is in this stuff, but we use these constantly, like for everything. So try it out if one again if you have not ever heard of this you need one and just like keep it in the back of your mind like it 
doesn't just work for like traditional things it cleans everything so next up is just for the ladies and it is just to drink so much water when you're on your period and i think of course like water is healthy and we all need to be drinking water constantly duh but it is so important to chug water on your period because it helps with your period cramps it can also help to shorten your period and i've tested this out because I drink a, so much water anyway, but sometimes when I'm on my period, I'm like a little bit nauseous. Like I get them really bad and I like don't drink a lot of water. And once I learned that it can like shorten your period and help your cramps, I, my last two periods just chugged water and it was less. The cycle was less and my like cramps were 25% less. Still pretty dang bad, but um, just another hack for you that should definitely be chugging water on your period. And then last one again for the ladies or men, actually no. When you are wearing heels of any kind and you know that your feet are going to be killing you or just like to prevent pain or whatever, you put CBD oil on your feet. It works, it works. Like I know right now, life, we're not out going dancing, hitting the club with our heels on for seven hours, but um, if you have a job where you have to wear heels or just for future reference, like put CBD oil on your feet. Um, of course, we can all find like a few pairs that don't cause us pain, but there are just some of those in our closets, right? That are so cute, but they're so painful. Like put CBD oil on your feet. It makes a difference. Like I'm not kidding you. So that was the last thing on the list. That was the last hack for you. And again, super random list not well like organized but that's how these videos are for me because it's just my life and things that i've really incorporated into my life that have helped me in a lot of random ways so i wanted to throw it all together in a video for you and please i know i always say it but please let me know in the comments like if you have any other fun life hacks that can help me out like i would appreciate that um or if this is helpful for you like i my favorite comments are when people let me know that my video helped them in some way, they found out something new, they learned something, or they related and thought that the video was funny or a good use of their time, whatever. Um, I'm just so grateful for all of you that are watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.